I'm standing here with uh, Christina Alexanderson. She's a uh, project manager of uh, at the Dot SC uh, Foundation, and uh, I would like to ask her a few questions about what she's doing and what she's been talking about here today at the uh, Hack for Europe event in Stockholm. Hello, Christina. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. It was a great uh, speech you had before, and uh, it was some quite interesting issues you talked about, uh, Creative Commons uh, in school and so forth. Um, what do you think is most important with uh, uh, Culture Heritage data and uh, the school today? I believe it's important that it is free and accessible for children and teachers, so they can learn and work with the cultural culture heritage so they can work with it because we when they get a rel relation to the cultural heritage it's much easier to think it's important and to believe in it Do, is it problematic today to use culture heritage digital culture heritage information on the internet today or uh, it depends it's it's a issue about knowledge if you know where to find it you can find rather a lot of the uh, um, material, but the European cultural heritage is rather poor. I would say it's a bias for the American cultural heritage. You see pictures, you see um, movies, and a lot of materials from the United States, and rather poorly from the European countries. And I think that's a, a lack. And we. we we, do, we need to think about the children and we need to think about our culture and give a picture of how it was to live in, the Swe in Sweden, in Norway, in Denmark, in Germany, not only in the United States. And the internet makes it available even for the other side of the Atlantic to know what happened in Europe. Uh, but you're also working with Creative Commons, I know that. You're really, really into Creative Commons. Would you say something? Is, it, is that important in this, uh, in this uh, context? Yes, it is. Because you can't think... You, cultural heritage can't be everything that is far, far away or far, far from the Middle Ages. It has to be something that is connected to our time and our space. Because otherwise, the things that happens today, we don't know it and we don't use it because it's locked in. And the culture um, sector has a lot of material that they own and they ought to give it back. And it ought to be free to use for schools, for teachers, for me. That doesn't work in the school because otherwise it will just forget we will forget it and we won't use it and when we can it isn't important for us thank you very much christina thanks for coming here